hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so guys today i'm going to be showing you how to draft the pattern for a princess dot and if this is something you're interested in learning or knowing how to do definitely keep on watching all right and if you're a first timer on my channel do click on the subscribe button join the family and turn on your post notification so you'll be the very first to know when i upload a new video to start off i went ahead to just prep my paper i've drawn out my underboss line my boss points my waist as well as my upper chest line i basically demarcated or sectioned my paper into two parts so on the left i have my front part and on the right i have the back part okay so like I said, we'll be working on the front part first, okay? So from that center front line, I'm just going to mark 4 inches, which is going to be half of my bust pan measurement. And I'll be marking 4 inches across from my bust point all the way to my waist line like i have done so that is four inches which is half of my nipple to nipple measurement and i took this measurement so i drew out this line from the bust point all the way to the waistline next off i'll be marking 1.25 inches from that waistline just from that um line that we just drew starting from the waistline like you see me doing i'm just going to mark 1.25 inches and connect it to my under bust line using a straight ruler like this so basically what we are doing right now is to is create the dart we are creating the dart right now for the front and this is what we have right now then next up i'll be connecting that under bust line to the bust point line using a curve ruler or a french curve or yeah anything you have so i'm just going to connect that um bust point to that under bust line and i used my french curve so when you do it it should look something like this okay so next i'm just going to create the neckline first so we have a guide on where our shoulder is starting and where our shoulder is ending all right so i'm just going to create a neckline so this video is not about neckline so i'm just basically going to do that off camera haven't created a neckline i'm going to create a shoulder slope by half an inch so i'm just going to drop that shoulder by half an inch to create the slope along that shoulder line then haven't done that it should look something like this i would go ahead right now and create the armhole for the front and this is what the armhole should look like or this is what the armhole looks like at this point okay next up i'm just going to measure from that slope or from that shoulder from the beginning of the shoulder not from the edge of the paper from the point we created the slope and measure out the entire armhole to where it touches that upper chest line and i'm just going to divide whatever measurement i have by two and mine is nine inches so when i divide by two it is 4.5 inches so i'm just going to mark 4.5 inches along that armhole line and haven't marked it out that is where my 4.5 inch mark is then i will just connect that 4.5 inch mark to my boss point using a straight ruler or a french curve whatever you have can work okay but i'm using a straight ruler and i'm just going to connect that 4.5 inch mark to that boss to my boss points using my straight ruler like i said and this is what i am doing right now okay so haven't done that it should look something like this so at this point some people actually take that on both sides of that um boss pan line but i feel like if you're going for a princess dot a more fitting princess that it should be taken from one side okay and not both sides all right so what i'm going to do next is to extend that line upwards by 1.5 inches and the reason I'm extending it upward is because when you sew the side front to the center front and you don't add any allowance to that armhole line, you notice that it can it tends to be shorter on that armhole line, which might not really look so nice, all right? So what I'm going to do next is mark half an inch on either side of that line that comes from the armhole to create that armhole that just so we get rid of all the excess puffiness on the armhole area all right so once that is done the next step would be to take a quarter of my body measurement so i'm going to take a quarter of my body measurement and ensure that i replace all the dots for the waistline and the under bust i'll be replacing 1.25 inches and for the armhole area i'll be replacing one inch which i used to take the dots all right 
Next up, I'll be creating a new armhole from that extension, from that 1.5 extension. I'll be creating a new armhole and connecting it to my body measurements. All right. So I haven't done that. This is what it looks like. So that outer armhole is what we'll be working with and not the initial armhole we created. So we'll be working with the armhole for that extends from that 1.5 um inch extension of 1.5 yeah inch extension so this is my center front i'll be cutting on fold and this is the side front i'll be cutting two of these one for the left and one for the right okay so having done that let's proceed over to the back part or the back pattern all right so i have a about one inch left out which i'll be using to make my zip allowance so that part i just labeled is the zip allowance and that is my center back and that demarcation between the front and the back is where my side back would sit all right so i haven't done that next i'm just going to create a neckline you can do any neckline you want so this video is not about necklines and that's why i'm not going detailed on necklines all right so i just went ahead to create the neckline and created the shoulder slant basically the same way i did for the front slanted the shoulder by half an inch all right so at this point i'm just going to mark four inches from that center front line from that center back line rather and not from the edge of the paper i'm just going to mark four inches Inches, which is my um half of my bust pan measurements okay so that is the four so that is a four inch mark for my bust um pass bust pan then i created my back armhole basically the same way i created the front armhole so what i'm going to do next is to measure that entire armhole and mark the midpoint the same way i did for the front i'm just going to mark the midpoint which is equally 4.5 inches okay so what i'm going to do next is to connect that 4.5 inch mark on the armhole to that um that line or that yeah that that line that we just drew so i haven't done that this is what it looks like for the back then i'll be extending that that line upwards by 1.5 inches basically the same way i did for the front okay then what i'm doing next is before i take the body measurements do know that the back uh, plan does not have any contouring no that lines taken on either side like the front where we took one and 1.25 inches the back is basically straight unlike the front where you have the waist snatch and the bust kind of protrudes or extends outwards the back is totally straight so you don't need any form of contouring you don't need any dart or any other um you need a dart but you don't need to like snatch excess fabric from the back by taking extra um by taking extra fabric or excess um space on the back okay so the back is going to be straight and so this uh, curve line that we just drew across the back is the only dart that we'll be needing for the back i hope that makes sense trust me so what i'm going to do next is to create the armhole the new armhole basically the same way i did for the front from that 1.5 inch extension and i went ahead to take my body measurements a quarter of my body measurements and i added an extra one inch for ease so what i'm going to do next is to label the center back as well as the side back i'll be cutting two of each two for the side back and two for the center back okay so these are all the panels laid out here and guys if you're new on my channel if you're a first timer on my channel kindly subscribe and click on the bell icon so you'll be the very first to know when i upload a new video give this video a thumbs up if you learned something or enjoyed this tutorial and leave a comment in the comment section okay and yeah i'm just cutting out all the pieces after cutting out all the pieces this is what it looks like i hope you guys found this video helpful so see you in my next video bye